Hello guys, I'm Kiri. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a very rare Lamborghini model, a 1976 Lamborghini Silhouette P300. The car been in production from 1976 to 1979. And for these three, three and a half years, Lamborghini managed to build only 54 cars. But not because Lamborghini limited the car to 54 units, but because just no one wanted to buy the car. Today, not all 54 cars are surviving. Many of them are long time gone. So just 31 cars are surviving today, which makes this model one of the rarest Lamborghini ever made. The last few years Lamborghini made some very special limited models like Reventon, Sesto Elemento, Sian, etc, etc. But the model Silhouette is a different story. So we said they made in total 54 cars, from which 12 originally have been built in right-hand drive configuration and 42 left-hand drive. From the 12 right-hand drive cars, today just 8 cars are in existence. And from the left-hand drive, cars just 23 cars are in existence. The car in front of us today is one of the 23 left-hand drive cars, and you have to agree with me, is very, very rare. Today, even the car in both configuration, left-hand drive or right-hand drive, is more rare than the Holy Grail Ferrari 250 GTO. When the car was first presented at the 1976 Geneva Motor Show, straight away become a star. Many people around, lots of attention, but after that the reality was different. So why they made only 54 cars? It's very interesting. There are four main reasons. The reason number one, in 1973-1974 the oil crisis was one of the reasons, but this wasn't only for this model was for every expensive car, from Rolls Royce to Ferrari to Maserati. So, but anyway, the oil crisis affected on this model as well. Reason number two, the very hard political crisis in Italy, especially in Bologna region, where is the home of Lamborghini. But for me, the most real problem with the car is the reason number three, the price of the car was very, very expensive car back on 1970s. When was released in 1976, the price was 27,000 US dollars or 14, 15,000 British pounds. When the average cost of any car was under 5,000 US dollars. And the last reason number four why the car didn't become successful uh, were the rivals. Exactly on that time, 1976, Porsche released the model 911 Turbo, or 930, which was very, very fast, very cool, and not that expensive. Roughly the same time, Ferrari released the very successful model 308 GTB, which was the main rival, actually, of the, of the Lamborghini Silhouette, and two years later they released the model 328. Uh, 308 GTS, Spider version, and on the same time, in 1976, on the end, Lotus already were selling the legendary Esprit, which was much more cheaper and the same conception car. So these were some of the main reasons why this absolutely gorgeous model Lamborghini Silhouette P300 was unsuccessful car. So for me, the, uh, reason number three was very expensive and reason number four, uh, the rivals, Porsche 911 Turbo 1976, Ferrari 308 GTB and then Lotus Esprit on the same time they were released, they were actually the rivals of the Lamborghini Silhouette P300. On the same time the car was very very attractive, was very beautiful and more exotic than the others. But here is something very interesting. Lamborghini Silhouette P300 was a direct, direct successor of the, we can say, successful model Lamborghini Uraco, which was in production from 1970 to 1976. For this seven years production run, Lamborghini made over 700 Uraco cars, 
which mean over 100 cars per year. But Lamborghini Silhouette, for the half of the time, three and a half years, made only 54 cars. Or let's say just 15, 16 cars per year. Even the Silhouette was based on Uraco. The same base, the same chassis and design. And when we said the, de the design, here we need to mention that the Uraco was designed by the same guy who did the Mura and Lamborghini Countach, Marcelo Gandini, who was working at Bertone. So the design was very, very cool. But in 1976, another very cool guy, who was working again for Bertone, took the original Gandini design and just redesigned the Uraco. And the result was the silhouette. This guy was Nuccio Bertone. So two very, very cool guys and completely new interior, new front and rear sides, and the most visible difference were the wheels, the wheel arches, and the Targa open type roof. Even the Lamborghini Silhouette was the first ever production open type Lamborghini car. But again, this didn't help the model. The car is mid V8 transversely mounted engine, rear wheel drive only three liters, 2,997cc and producing 265 horsepower, uh, some 20 horsepower more than Uraku P300 and 275 newton meters of torque. The wheelbase is 2 meter 450 millimeters, the perfect wheelbase for that time for the V8 cars, mid-engine V8 cars, 2 meter 450 millimeters. The car was long. 4 meters 320 millimeters or 35 millimeters longer than Uraco and was high 1 meter 120 millimeters, 40 millimeters lower than Uraco and the car is white actually 1 meter 880 millimeters, 140 again millimeters wider than Uraco thanks to the wheel arches and the, and the wider wheels of course. The silhouette is some 50 kilograms even lighter than Uraco as well, so the curb weight is approximately 1240 kilograms and imagine that the car is open roof, so the chassis must be more rigid, more strong and actually the car is lighter than Lamborghini Uraco. Actually it's a light car which helps for the phenomenal performance back for 1970s, 1976, acceleration from 0 to 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour, 6.5 seconds, maximum speed 260 kilometers per hour or 162 miles per hour. The Ferrari 308 GTB was 255 horsepower, so 5 horsepower less, and maximum speed 255 kilometers per hour or 160 miles per hour so again 5 kilometers per hour or 2 3 miles per hour less so Lamborghini uh, Silhouette actually was faster and better performance car than Ferrari 308 GTB but on the end Ferrari 308 GTB GTS after that was very very successful car but Lamborghini Silhouette was absolutely absolutely unsuccessful but Nuccio Bertone didn't stop here in 1976, he used the very cool Bravo wheels, we know from the previous prototype, and was one of the first car with low profile tires. Very interesting fact is, we said the model was in production from 1976 to 1979, and this was the little baby Lamborghini, or the little sister of the big boy Lamborghini Countach. So Countach was V12 engine, top car, very top level car. On the same time, Silhouette was V8 small car. But what's happened? The small baby had bigger wheels and tires than the big boy Lamborghini Countach. The first 1974 Lamborghini Countach LP400, or well known as uh, Periscopio, was in production from 1974 to 1978. So same time as a silhouette, but the silhouette was with 285 by 40 by 15 rear tires, while the Countach had 215 70 14 tires. So very strange, 
15 inch versus 14 inch. So 15 inch for the big, for the small actually baby Lambo and 14 inch small tires for the top level Lamborghini V12 car. But again, this didn't help to the model. After in 1978, Lamborghini changed the wheels uh, and the tires to the Lamborghini Countach, so to looks like the leader actually, they went to 15 inch white wheels. Of course, Walter Wolf was the guy who actually uh, convinced Lamborghini to change the wheels and the tires to the Lamborghini Countach. Originally, Lamborghini fitted Pirelli P7 tires to the silhouette 285-40-15 rear and 195-50-15 on the front. But today Yokohama AVS are going very good as well. But also Lamborghini Countach LP400, the original one, 1974-1978, for four years in production, they built only 157 cars and the price was almost double than the silhouette or 52,000 US dollars. In my opinion, Lamborghini silhouette is seriously underrated model today. It's worth all the money and how we said is very rare. Probably all the attention before and even now is on the Lamborghini Countach. That's why Lamborghini silhouette is on the shadow, but anyway, it's understandable. And I'm gonna say again for me, uh, Lamborghini silhouette is absolutely, absolutely underrated car. The new owners of the company Rossetti, when, when they bought the car from Ferruccio Lamborghini in mid 1970s, they see that the model is not competitive, it's not going well, and they decide to redesign again the model this time in early 1980s and the model Jaupa or Yaupa is came on the market also this time they legalized uh, the model for USA market so the car can be sell in USA as well because the silhouette actually wasn't for sale in USA this was the other reason why they made only 54 cars Jaupa or Jaupa was 3.5 liter engine this time, more refined, more quality cars. Some of the customers had been com uh, complaining from the quality of a Lamborghini silhouette, but the real sports car actually should be light, so no extras, no luxury materials inside, no carpets even, etc. etc. That's why it even was lighter with some 50 kilograms than Lamborghini Uraco, because different materials or some lighter elements but actually the real driver wants exactly this more focused car not luxury not expensive mat materials only the steering wheel and the gear stick in the hand so this was lamborghini silhouette p300 so just have a look at the car from outside it looks absolutely absolutely incredible this i'm gonna say again is left hand drive example only 23 today are in existence very very rare and in this color actually i'm not sure in this color just this example is in existence but the car is absolutely absolutely fantastic you can see it here the bravo wheels and then they went up again to lamborghini countach the bravo wheels 1978 up to 1980 for the Lamborghini Countach LP400S, the lower body Countach. They are absolutely cool wheels, 15 inch, 195, 50, 15 on the front and 285, 40, 15 on the rear. The car from the side looks absolutely, absolutely dynamic, absolutely beautiful, very low, very low car. The, the side mirrors are absolutely perfect. You can see here the Batch Bertone, of course. The design was made by Bertone and here the script silhouette. So this is the silhouette and Bertone batch on the rear side of the car. Absolutely, absolutely phenomenal car. The engine is here behind this cover and also behind the engine is some boot space. So guys, this was about this absolutely fantastic underrated Lamborghini silhouette. If you like the video please subscribe my channel 
See you next time, guys. Bye.